guys welcome back to my channel today we are talking about how I established my breast milk supply I've been successfully breastfeeding now for 12 weeks I asked you guys on snapchat if you guys wanted to see how I established my milk supply video I got an overwhelmingly large oh hi I got an overwhelmingly large response from you guys saying that you do want to see that video so I have a couple of disclaimers a I am definitely not an expert um, I am not a professional so please seek help through a lactation consultant or doctor or pediatrician. I am in no way, shape or form bragging about how I'm successfully breastfeeding. I know several women who have struggled with breastfeeding and I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings whatsoever. I'm not bragging, I'm not boasting. I'm just simply just here to share what worked for me and my baby and how we are successfully breastfeeding. Um, so yeah, I just, I hope you guys find this video helpful. So I went to go film this video and I thought, okay, I should take an inventory of what I have in the freezer. So basically, I'm going back to work in two weeks. My baby will be exactly 14 weeks old by the day that I go back to work for the first time. I realized I have hundreds of ounces of breast milk saved and I did some crunch some numbers. I'm going back to work for three days a week. I can feed her on that supply for four months. I was absolutely astounded when I actually crunched the numbers and figured that out. I was like, mind blown. If you guys want to know how I have saved hundreds of ounces of breast milk and I got my supply to come in naturally, then um, give the video a thumbs up and we'll just jump right into it. I'm probably going to blab so much. Oh my God, I'm scatterbrained. So basically I'm going to link my first two weeks, my breastfeeding struggle video, my first two weeks of breastfeeding. Um, I went into great detail of what I had to do for the first two weeks. Um, so I will link that one down below. I'll put like one of the I cards um, right here so you guys can click on that. But basically, some cards were stacked against me for successful breastfeeding in the beginning. My baby was small. She was four pounds, 14 ounces. She was born a little bit premature. I hadn't entered my 37th week yet. She had a hard time latching. I had to use the nipple shield. I would have to pump after every single feeding to try to get my milk to come in and to see what I could produce and then give that to her in a cup. Because she was very small, they were very adamant about pumping after every single feeding. And I pumped after every single feeding in the hospital using the hospital grade pump. Now I have the Medela Pump and Save or pump and style, whatever it is, it's the insurance supply pump. I will link it below if I can find it. So we were, when we were in the hospital, I pumped after every single feeding. I got home and continued that trend. And then my milk came in around like three or four days after she was born and my milk just absolutely came in. I attribute that to pumping for sure. And no matter what, whether she would latch or not, I would put her to the breast and I would let her try to latch for quite a, you know, I would try it several times and then allow her to do her thing. If she latched, great. If she didn't, that's okay. No matter what, she was getting fed by me pumping. After every single feeding for the first week, I would pump. And I would pump for about 15 minutes total and I have a dual pump so it was both sides at once so I would pump for 15 minutes um, each time. By day six is the most critical. Um, that's when your milk supply is kind of established. You've told your body to start creating milk. Um, so it's really important. Those first six days are so, so important to constantly put the baby to the breast. I never went more than three hours without feeding her. No matter what, all through, all through the night, I had to go no more than three hours in between feedings and that's from start to start. Basically, it's from the time we started started the feeding until the time we start the next feeding. Um, so you don't have a whole lot of time in between feedings in the very beginning. So that was exhausting, but oh, totally worth it now that I'm looking back on it. So after the first six days, um, when my breast milk supply was established, I cut down to two pumping sessions a day and I pumped for 15 minutes at each session. And after probably two to three weeks old, I cut down to one pumping session a day. I have established my supply by hardly ever giving her a bottle. And she also didn't take a pacifier. In the very beginning, I was told, you you know it's best to not give pacifier and not give a bottle for the first like three four weeks while you're establishing breastfeeding and your milk supply um, not so much with nipple confusion but for demand like if the baby was going to be taking a pacifier maybe I would miss the hunger cues and would not put her to the breast so 
that was a biggie for me and she never took a pacifier anyway still doesn't she just gags on it doesn't even understand the concept of it so we don't do pacifier anyway on her choice not mine which doesn't break my heart anyway and as far as the bottle goes i did not give her a bottle there was no need for me to give her a bottle because we were just putting her to the breast at every cue in the very beginning even if she was sleeping no matter what i would wake her up every three hours it's really tempting at night to pump and then let daddy feed um but i've never done that before i never even let that be an option i figured if i'm gonna wake up and pump or if i'm gonna just sleep through the night then i'm telling my body that it doesn't need to produce milk um, at that time or if I'm gonna wake up and pump then I might as well just put her to the breast anyway because it's just as much work um, she's been on the breast really every single day no matter what from seven to nine times between seven to nine feedings every single day since the day she was born I've only given her a bottle only a handful of times um, and that is because I'm with her at all time I want to make sure my breast milk comes in and stays in because breast milk is a supply and demand. The more that you empty your breast, the more that your body's like, okay, I have to produce this many ounces. If I was to skip feedings all the time, I'm telling my body that my baby doesn't need that much breast milk, so pump the brakes. So my body would, it would pump the brakes and stop producing that large amount of breast milk because my baby doesn't need it. Your baby determines how much milk that you need. Well, obviously if you're going back to work, you wanna make sure that your baby can um, take a bottle and will not refuse it and will be able to eat from a bottle. The very first time we gave her a bottle was when she was three weeks old. We were traveling a little bit to go see family and I just didn't want to be bothered to breastfeed um, and I just pumped extra that day. So basically, if I'm going to give her a bottle for a feeding, then I make sure that I compensate with that with a pumping session later um, at home at night sometime um, that same day. I make sure that the number of feedings that she would have had to the breast um, if I gave her a bottle, then she'll have the same exact when I like when I pump. So basically now, every single morning after she has her morning feeding, I'll put her down for her morning nap, I'll make myself a coffee and have some breakfast, and then I will pump for 10 minutes. No matter what, I make sure I get that pumping session in. And I've been able to save on average about five ounces every morning. In the very beginning, it was like two and a half ounces, but then I would pump twice. Now I am pumping about six to seven ounces every morning. So another thing, guys, try to relax and not stress because stress really, really affects your milk supply. If I find myself super stressed out or have a tough day or something, I find that my milk supply instantly is affected by it. I will see that immediately with my pumping output um, being decreased. So I try to relax. So when Sydney was two weeks old um, at her pediatrician appointment, I was told that I could let her um, feed on demand at night and during the day still go no more than three hours in between feedings. And then at her five week checkup, her pediatrician said that I could feed um, you know, no more than four hours during the day and still feed on demand at night. So we ditched the nipple shield at five weeks. One day I got sick of it and I just said, you know, I'm gonna try to save show latch. So we tried and God bless, luckily we were able to um, just dip, ditch the nipple shield and never look back. And then it was like, I don't know, six or seven weeks. I was like, you know, this, this breastfeeding thing's working. She's getting it. She knows when to tell me she's hungry. And so I'm gonna feed on demand from now on. I just won't wake her up. Typically she will eat every like two to two and a half hours. That's on her schedule when she tells me she's hungry is around two to two and a half hours. And that way she gets all of her feedings in and can sleep through the night, basically. Another really important thing is for me was to keep track of her feeding. So I downloaded an app and that's how I keep track of all of her diapers and all of her feedings. And that way I can really know how long it's been since her last feeding and make sure she's had enough wet and dirty diapers. Um, and and that's really important that way you know um, if you're putting them to the breast you're, you're you really can tell that they're getting um enough milk for them drink a ton of water and stay really hydrated another really big tip is don't diet unless it's medically necessary and your doctor tells you you have to please i mean just don't it's not the time to be dieting the more calories you restrict the less 
calories your body has um, to create breast milk. I, I've, I don't diet. I'm eating, I swear I'm eating more right now than I have during pregnancy itself. Um, breast milk, I think it's like between five and 700 extra calories your body needs um, to produce breast milk or needs a day. Um, and that's like double the amount that it needs during pregnancy if that puts it into perspective for you So don't worry about dieting. You can diet after you're done breastfeeding. Who cares? You just created a human being and you're trying to feed your human being Basically, so, there's all kinds of like lactation cookies lactation You know foods and all that stuff out there to boost your milk supply and I tried it one time and It worked, but I swear I instantly got a clogged duct because my my body was like not prepared to have all that milk but oatmeal brewer's yeast flaxseed that and oatmeal um fenugreek i don't know i'll list down below what i used for a recipe and it definitely worked but i've i've only used it i've only eaten it like i don't know two times ever. If you ever find your breast milk supply um, dwindling, then pump extra, pu put in an extra pumping session um, or you know, feeding session. Spend as much time skin to skin with your baby as possible. In the very beginning, we were, we were feeding in a onesie or in a diaper only. Um, it's really important to have skin to skin contact with your baby, especially in the very beginning. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know your tips and tricks um, down below. Like I said, I'm mostly, I'm like all natural, I, so I haven't tried any supplements or anything like that. But if you have found any tips and tricks um, on getting your breast milk, Yes, breast milk to come in. And then let us know. Leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to go hold my baby. Thank you guys for watching. Mwah.